How to work with unusual objects. Now, guys, have you been paying attention? Look, he's thrusting, and I can fend off and counter both here and here. Do it again. I've caught the weapon he's holding, and now I can attack him both here and here. Now I can carry it on to hit his leg, slash at his throat, and finish him off with a head slash. We're trying to disarm him. What am I doing? I'm turning my shoulder and countering. Can you see it? I can solve this problem with the rifle. Now, have a look. I'm swinging at him. He's trying to take my shovel away. But I counter, while keeping the rifle close to my body and pushing him away. Then I'm adding a kick. Once more, I'm swinging at him. He's fended off and countering. I'm taking the clip out and hitting him with it. Can you see how my arm's moving? Look, I'm working with my shovel and disarming him. I've dropped my shovel, but I carry on. I can hit him with my rifle like this or like that. I'm giving him the rifle back. We keep working. A move and he's down. Can you see what I'm saying? You've been working with the sticks and you kept the point of contact. Now what happens if you break the contact? This stick is straight, easy to use, and easy to handle at all stages of your learning. There are other objects, however, they are more complex than that. If we think of a rifle, we know it's made for shooting. If we think of an axe, it's made for hacking. A sabre is for slashing. A knife is for cutting. Each of those objects have a distinct purpose. Now, not so much with a stick. A stick is just a stick. When you work with sticks, you basically allowed your arms, legs and other parts of your body to do some work. A stick doesn't mentally overload you. Other objects, however, do. Let's say he's thrusting. I've got a hatchet here. What can I do with it? How can I use it effectively? I can hack him down here. And then grab him here and finish him off like this. Besides, you must take into consideration your body weight, how strong you are, the conditions you're in, and so on. He's attacking. I'm countering here and here. You've been working with sticks and practice turning them around in your hands. The same goes for an axe. I must know how to turn it and how to grip it in different situations. He's thrusting. I'm fending him off and then fending off his other arm. Is there a universal shaft here? No. Do you remember the figure we drew for you? You can find your opponent's weakness if you follow this principle. He's attacking. I go ha, locking his arms up there. Then I'm pushing him down and he's mine. Let me try a different object. There was a small hook, something like a poker. Look, he's attacking. I'm fending it off and catching his arm. You probably haven't seen it in real life, but you know that Vikings and other old time heroes used curved knives. What can we do with them? By the way, there's a curved knife. A 
The curved object allows you to gain positional advantage. He's attacking, but I'm catching him. I got him here, then here, and here. You can reach with the curved knife the spots that are unreachable for straight blades. I mean, they are reachable, of course, but it requires other techniques. If you're holding a curved knife, you go around him and catch him like this. Now stab in the collarbone, a twist and a pull. He's thrusting again. I go, ha! A turn, then taking his weapon away and taking him down with my poker. You can use anything, a walking stick, a poker or even a broomstick. This is a hammer I'm holding. I can use the same technique as with a broomstick, by the way. He's thrusting. Now, look what happens if I turn it around its axis. I can move it away. The angles. Why not use it to our advantages? He's thrusting. I'm fending off and ha! Caught him. I can hold it with any grip. Normal or reverse, it doesn't matter which. Besides, you can brandish it because it's easy to hold and manipulate when you hold it by the metal part. I'm countering. A strike here and here. He's thrusting. I go ha, pulling him out and adding some more. He's attacking. I'm turning this weapon and disarming him. Now you can do anything you want with him. He's thrusting. I go ha, his elbow, he's disarmed and I've got his weapon. The variety of shapes and other forms of objects you fight with is a great thing. It helps you develop your vision, understanding and technique. He's attacking. I'm countering both here and here. A turn and another turn. I'm behind him and finishing him off.